Hi, Beth. Hey, Rachel. Ready for tonight's date? Yeah, I guess so. I can't believe my mom's even setting me up on blind dates. This is ridiculous. Look, didn't you say it was hard to meet people? Besides, you're the one who broke up with Kevin. Why are you bringing up Kevin again? You guys were so good together, but apparently, since you guys have been together since high school, someone had to try something new. That's a legitimate concern. How do I know he's the one if I've never dated anyone else? I'm pretty sure I can find someone better than him. Right, and that's why your mom set you up. And you'll probably scare that guy away anyway. Oh, what are you talking about? Remember three weeks ago at my house when I had Mike over? Your turn. Pay up, bitch. Not today. I'm not going out like that. Do better next time. Nice try, asshole. What now, motherfucker? Oh, I just jacked no, you. Rachel. What the fuck are you gonna do about it's it? Okay, Try Rachel. to fuck with just, me again. Just Try to game. fuck with me no, again. it's just a game. Come on. I'll Come cut on. you. I'll cut you, Rachel, bitch. it's just a game. Down. What? I get competitive. You know I hate losing. That wasn't the point of playing board games. I was trying to set you up. You know, you wink, be cute, and get to know the guy? Oh. Look, Rachel, lots of guys find you attractive and cute, but you get all weird about it. What? Are you talking about when we went to the bar a couple of weeks ago? Hey girl, I see you've been checking me out all night. What? We just got here five minutes ago. Shh. I know what you think of me. You want to make out? What? Oh, okay, okay, not going for that quite yet. Where'd you get that from? Oh, I bought it for you. You look thirsty if you know what I mean. Um, no thanks. We're here for the music. It's girls' night out. Oh, me too. Me too. Uh, how do you feel about going back to my car? Oh, the Snapchats I'd send you. That is not acting weird. That guy was super rapey. He was? Yes. Ew. I thought you just wanted to leave because you thought the music was bad. No. Anyway, it's turning out to be way harder than I thought. I thought that one guy you met on Tinder was promising. He's in the gaming and anime, the two big things you love. Carl, you? We're three minutes late. It looks like you were born in the year of the tiger. I'm an ox, so that makes us working out tough. Um, also, I looked at your LinkedIn profile. Based on your past jobs and the companies you work for, you're well behind on your earnings potential. You're on pace to get there in you know, 10 years. Either way, whether it's desire or intelligence, um, it'll be hard to get there. Um, if we want a higher odds of our kids not having birth defects, we probably have kids in the next few years anyway. Um, I did some research on your Facebook page. It looks like you love partying it up in Vegas. I'm not into party girls. You, you seem like such a nice girl over the email, but it turns out you're fake. I wish I had taken the time to do my research before, but I had three minutes to spare since you were late. You're fake. You don't even look anything like your picture, and you definitely are 5'11". Ouch. Seems like you met a lot of guys. Do you even know what you want? Never really had to think about it much. Right. You've only dated one guy, so you have no idea. Hello? Are you there? Is the guy there? No. No, it wasn't him. I totally have an idea of what I want. Uh-huh. Right. Wait, wait, wait. If I think about it, I want a nice guy who can take my competitiveness, my sarcasm, and I don't want a passive guy that sits around and does nothing. Definitely not rapey. He has to be driven and have ideas of things to do. You know, a sense of adventure. You just described Kevin. What? Yeah, you totally did. I guess I did.